I'm here, we're doing an unboxing of the bed jet. So I already took a, took most of it out. Uh, came in these big foam containers, which is nice. Uh, everything seems to be intact in here. Uh, this is the bed bracket for the hose. This is the part where it shoots out the air. So, this is the, uh, the actual bed jet itself. We've got the hose here. The instructions. And the remote. Now, the reason why I'm doing this review is because this product is pretty new. And... Not that many people know about it. So I'm going to... Alright, we're here. And I've looked, read the directions. Pretty simple uh, to install. But there was uh, some warnings and, you know, normal stuff for any kind of product. Um, the product overview. Um, some tips about where to place the nozzle and how the unit works, which is very good. Uh, I'll have to set up the Bluetooth later, but uh, let's see how this works. <clears throat> Apparently, this suggested placement side, middle of the front of the bed, or on the opposite side on the bottom of the bed. I'm gonna just try it here on this side. I may eventually move this over to the other side. But, I'll put it there. Now, the midget's supposed to go underneath there. Let's see if this is long enough to get to the... Uh, I have a plug behind the bed, so that should be long enough. So it should be good enough to place. Now, it looks like this just slips on. Yep, and clamps into place. I like that this hose is nice and long because you can put bed jet further in before it comes up and over. So, for whatever reasoning, I mean, uh, if your cord doesn't is not long enough, maybe you can get away with. Uh, To be on top of the bed. Oh, <laughs> I ripped off the sheet. That's not gonna help. I'm wondering why it looked weird. So, this looks good. This is where it's supposed to be. Now, I have um, my regular comforter, another comforter, another comforter. And then the sheet. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of one of these comforters underneath here. Just so that... Alright. Let's plug bed jet in. Alright, I got bed jet plugged in. I'm pull, pulling it out just so that we can see here. Hopefully you guys can see here how this is working. Zoom you in here a little bit. Alright. Now, I see one thing I don't like already. This remote control. One thing I can't stand is when manufacturers design things with these tiny, tiny batteries that cost a retarded amount of money. But it is what it is. So basically they're saying for a warning, for warranty issues, do not return to store. Just contact the, uh, the uh, warranty uh, replacement. 
So that's nice. Um, again, the person that designed this and their 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 uh, what's it called their team is really dedicated about uh, great um, warranties and you know basically wanting to make sure that your, the product is right. Let's see if that jet works. There's turbo heat. Uh, just heat, cool, plus, minus, sound off, and this, um, I'm guessing this is a delay button, or it's a timer, it's the timer button. So, it is kind of cold out, um, even though it's, you know, should be summer, but let's try the heat. Now, I'm not going to do turbo heat, because all that's going to do is burn more electricity, but let's we'll just put it on regular heat. Uh oh. Maybe I have to turn it on. Oh. I forgot. There is another switch underneath here. Hopefully you guys can see it. There's um there's two switches, I forgot. In the manual it said that. Um they don't want you to plug this into a power strip because there's no need. There's a switch here. And um if you put it to a power strip, you may have problems. Uh, just from used to being electrician, you can burn up those uh, power strips pretty quick, especially with something with uh, 1,500 watt um, pulling. So, um, let's turn on the switch. Let's see. Now it should be good. Let's do heat. Oh. I see a power button. It's starting to sound like a spaceship. It's sucking in a lot. Blowing nice, nice heat into the bed. Considerable amounts of, of heat. It is rising slightly the bed. There it goes. It's rising. It's rising. Now it looks like the fan speed is always at full here. Um, it's actually not that loud. Surprisingly. While the bed's uh, warming up, I am going to get my iPad. And I'm going to try to set up the BedJet app. Put bed jet, of course. Why would the light stay on? Because I'm not moving. Alright, so I figured it out why I couldn't download the app. I was able to get the phone and I did it as well, and it still didn't, with the search of just bed jet, it didn't come up. I actually had to put bed jet app. That's pretty sad. Apple should have just came up with just BedJet, but uh, yep, yeah, came up. It also came uh, up with uh, fall asleep now, uh, some rela re relaxation uh, music it looks like, but the second one was the BedJet. Now on the iPad, it didn't come up at all, because I guess the app is only designed for uh the smartphone, but I just was able to uh, switch up from the top to iPhone only instead of uh, instead of iPad only, 
and then I was able to find it. I did uh, just download it. So you should be able to see this, but uh, you can see the turbo heat on and off, air temp, um, air flow. Uh, I actually think that I need to, uh, I don't remember pairing it to, no, not paired. Remember the parrot. Why is it not connecting to the Bluetooth? I don't know if you can see this, uh, but I did end up turning off the unit because I could not pair in my Bluetooth settings. Don't ask me why, but it's just not pairing. Uh, if I go here, it comes up eventually. So I had to reboot the, the iPad once to get it to come re reappear. But um, so I go to the bed app, Bedjet app itself on the bottom. It's um, it's a pair of Bedjet. So I found that and I did hit search and this came up. It says Bedjet, blah 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 serial number. I'm guessing. So it's said that it's connecting now. Pair one one eight. Save settings. That's all I know. All right, so you can set memory, uh, memory one, memory two, memory three. Okay, let's see. Oh, and the blue light finally came on. Nice. Wow, I'm pretty surprised how, I guess because the you know, direction of say this we would pair it with that instead. So if you're doing this, save yourself some time. Don't bother trying to pair the Bluetooth in the settings of your iPad or your or your phone, I'm guessing too. Um, didn't didn't really. It's not supposed to be that that uh, bad, but so I'm gonna hit heat and it turned on. And oh, nice! It has a timer that says I guess when it's gonna go off. Cause it is. Um, from what I understand, it uses uh, about 30 minutes to 20 minutes um, to one hour, I believe, um, to set different timers to turn on and off. Uh, you can also, with this app, use uh, the alarm. The airflow right now is at 100%. So, oh, that's nice. You can actually see on the iPad when you change the percentage of airflow. Right now, the air temp is 105. 102. Uh, I'm guessing it drops when the temp when you drop the uh, airflow as well. Um, so, you can set. Uh, memory times for your alarm. Nice. And then, uh, so I get, I'm guessing if I like this setting per se. And of course, if I like that setting, I can hit memory one. Oh, memory one's off. Haha. Uh -huh. I didn't save it yet. So he and I'm gonna keep it at 60% airflow. Actually, I'm gonna pump it all the way up to 100. All right, so it's at 100 right now. Um, I don't want alarm setting or anything, so I'm gonna hit save now. Memory one. Nice. Now, I'm just going to drop the setting, I mean the air speed. Uh, do 50, it's at 55%. I'm going to save setting on memory too. Very nice. Um, I like the app. The app's very nice. It seems to work very, very well. Uh, 
So every time you hit the little, um, uh, what is that, the arrow, um, the, uh, this button, I don't remember what it's called. It's where the sand comes down. Um, if you hit that, it adds more time to your timer when to turn off. So, oh, that's nice. Uh, as you bump up the time, it gives, you know, it counts down. Uh, so it's nice. Alarm off. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's just telling you that the alarm is off. So overall, this product is very, very nice. Interesting. Very interesting. Very... The guy that invented this really put a lot of thought into this. And... I seem already very excited about this. Um, it was, I would give this as a rating to set up. I mean, an average person can really just set this up itself. Um, it worked right out of the box with the remote that came with it. Uh, it's very simple. Heat, cool, turbo heat. Uh, the, uh, the amount of uh, airflow. You can also turn off the sound here. Oh, interesting. So if you didn't want to hear the beeps, you could turn off the sound. And like you can raise it, lower it, and it won't beep. But I kind of want the sound on. So when I by accidentally hit the remote when I'm s sitting in the bed, that it, I know that I hit it. Um, now, the other thing I want to show you guys is uh, turn it off for now when you first turn it off it stays on for a few seconds and then turns off i'm gonna bring you in for a close-up view here so the only maintenance which is really nice on this unit is that you're supposed to inspect or clean the filter every three months uh you know when it's visually dusty you know and you see stuff on it or pet hair or whatever else is on the filter. Now the filter is designed to be washed and reused every time, which is, oh my god, money saves and money saving. There's no need to have some ridiculous expensive filter on machines. Or even if it's not ridiculously expensive, to keep, you know, throwing away stuff and... You know, clogging up our uh, trash sensors. But, um, to remove the filter. Now, this is my first time doing this. So, we'll really see how easy this is. Supposedly, you push this button right here. And, oh, wow, very easy. Huh. Very nicely designed. Nice clip. Wow. He did really put a lot of thought into this product. Now, if you were me, and you really didn't want to spend this kind of money, which I normally don't spend this kind of money on stuff like this, but I am a kind of a geek when it comes to uh, gadgets. I like my gadgets. Now, this filter is very easy to come out. And that's really it. It's just this mesh, which you will find on your hair dryers, which I find a lot of people don't clean out. And then they get clogged and clogged and clogged to the point where the stuff that's stuck in here gets into the hair dryer and causes fires. <laughs> but that doesn't happen much because most people just pull it out and clean it. Now, I can't really see that much into here. But, it looks like they designed this with foam on the inside as well to dampen the noise of the motor, which is very plus. That's really nice. Um, I really can't see anything else besides that. Uh, it looks like this white piece houses the fan, 
and then pushes it through the, which you can see on the other side. This is one of the reasons why I did this review because I couldn't find like a, an open box, uh, not an open box, a, uh, like a, um, a person that actually determined how this worked. So as you can see in there, those are the fins like you'll find on an air conditioner or, or anything else that's like that to transfer heat or cool. Um, and basically it looks like it's sandwiched together with some kind of special, um, glue or not really glue. It, it's a, um, probably some kind of epoxy or something that will, that holds everything together there, it looks like. And that's the element, I believe, that gets hot to create the heat. The, from what I understand, the... The cold is really um, just a fan circulating uh, air through your bed. There's not really anything of a um, compressor or anything like that, like an air conditioner would have, to make it really cold. So, um, so far I'm very happy with this. Um, let's zoom out here. I am now going to try it on the cold and see if it is gets my bed cold. Stay tuned. So this is how the bed jet looks. Um, I put the bed I put the bed jet under. Uh, what I did this time is instead of putting it like this, I decided for now to put it straight back. And uh, the cord reach is fine, and I gotta get my with my slippers. But I'm gonna try it on the hold now, and see how that works. Now I noticed with the noise, or you know the fan, the fan noise, is basically um, toward the back where the filter is. So the reason why I put it this way, I was thinking instead of shooting the noise back to the back of the bed where my head is and where my ears are, is maybe if I put it sideways I wouldn't, wouldn't really hear it as much. Um, the other option is I'll play with it and put it this way so it goes to, to the front of the bed. Actually I might do that now. Let's do that now. We'll see how that works, but um, it looks to be good now. Got the cold on. Oh, there. Wow, the cold air is considerably cold. Wow. That's pretty cold. Let's see how that does. Uh, cooling off the bed. Now obviously in the summertime I would have less sheets on my bed and less comforters. And that will result in um, you know better airflow as well. But let's see what's going on here. If I can scan here. Let's go back to the app. So the air temp right now is at 73 Fahrenheit.
right now it's at 50% airflow. I'm going to save settings and I'm going to save the cold for the uh, memory 3. So guys, I am really happy so far with this product. Um, I'll probably do another video not that long after of using this a few times. Um, I mean, the quality, the build quality is really, really impressive. Um, so far, it's doing what it says. Um, the uh, next thing would be for me to get the, uh, the uh, comforter here that will um, let more air flow into the bed. But so far, I mean, it seems to be doing pretty good, so... Um, I will have to see how that is later on, but, um, overall, I'm very happy, very satisfied so far. Um, the setup was really si simple out of the box. The only thing that was a little confusing was the Bluetooth setting, which I am a geek, and kind of, I call myself a geek sometimes, but, um, even for me, it was kind of annoying. Um... The instructions said to go into the settings of your iPad or whatever and uh, connect it, but I saw it, connected it, and then it said that it was couldn't be connected. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. But in the instruction, it also said to do what I found was go into the app of the Bedjet and install, uh, do a search for your Bedjet, and it found it. And for some reason, then the Bluetooth worked. But whatever, it works. Just a little pointer tip for you guys when you're setting up yours. The only um, other thing is, come on, Apple. If I put in Bedjet in the search, it should come up. I shouldn't sit, have to put Bedjet app. But whatever. Just another tip. If you're looking for the Bedjet app, just put in Bedjet app. Don't put in just Bedjet. <laughs> But, um, hopefully this will be helpful for people that are looking to purchase it, like I was. Um, I was really concerned about, like, the build quality and if this would really work, which most products do work. So far it seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, the quality is very, very high in quality. Um, it is somewhat noisy. I'll bring you down here, and right now it's at... 50%. But, you know, everybody has tolerance for different things. Noise is not one of my things. For some reason, me to go to sleep is light. That that drives me nuts. But noise, it's white noise. Um, you really won't uh it shouldn't really bother you that much. Uh, Alright, so you see the light up there on the top, and I'm going to be quiet, and you can listen to, this is like right up against it. I'm just going to move this box so I get more light here. And let's get rid of the plastic. So that's 50% right up against it on cold. This is just outside of the bed. This is up near the bed. And this is on the bed. It's not that bad. Uh, I think I'll get used to it really quickly, and I won't even have a problem with it. But thank you for watching. Hopefully this will give you some pointers when you buy your Bedjet, and hopefully you'll buy one. Alright, I'll put a review up in about maybe two or three months, and just to make, sh make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. No problems arise. Alright, thank you.